Hello and welcome to another one of my videos. In this video I have a box and to make it an even better box it's got Sago on it and to even make it an even better box it's got orange lining around the outside which just makes it phenomenal. Um, before I get started though, wristwatch check which I forgot to do in my last video. Um, in this one I'm actually wearing an SNK809 which has been heavily modified with um, a patinaed case. It's been heat treated to give those nice colours on it. Omega style handset with dial, it's also running an Invicta NH36 movement in there. It was basically a pile of parts I had in my spares bin, put it together for a wedding and I fell in love with it and worn it basically quite a lot ever since. Very nice watch, very light, don't know you're wearing it. But I will be getting onto my modded watches in later videos. For today, I'm going to be going on about what's in this box. Bit of background behind it, this watch has been staring at me from a jeweler's window for it got to be a year now. I've been walking past it and thought that's one of the few automatics they had in and it just kind of caught my eye but I thought mm, no I'm not going to go for it. The price is a bit high and so on and so forth. So it sat in the shop window a year. Came to around about three weeks ago, two, three weeks ago and I thought right I'll take a picture see if the price is reasonable. Put it on a Facebook page um, which was basically a Seiko themed Facebook page and it went crazy. It was basically Buy it, buy it. If you don't buy it, I'll buy it. Where's the shop? I'll buy it. Can you buy it for me? Can I buy it off you? You'll be daft if you don't buy it. So I thought, whoa, okay, this is a bit more unusual than I thought it was. I knew it was different, but I didn't know it was that different. However, when I open it, you might um, know why. Oh, yes. Firstly, it's a turtle. Firstly, it's a black turtle. And a lot of people will call it by the name Ninja Turtle. And it's got a very good reason why. And to be honest, I bought it and I fell in love with it. As soon as I had it in the shop and kind of test wore it, it was like, yeah, this is a very, very nice watch. Um, just to give it its proper name, it's actually an SRPC49K1. Limited edition, as you can see, by the back of the box and it's also on the back of the case. Now, just a bit of background with this, it was released with two other watches in the series which were both solar. One was a chronograph, the other was just a standard dive watch in the same theme. So basically orange, minute hand, so on and so forth. They actually did have a chronograph in the same jewellers which is still there now, but I wasn't going to buy two of them at the same time. I thought, nah, I'm not, I'm not going to push me luck with that one. Um, but, like you say, it is phenomenal. I am wearing it on a different strap and I'll get into the reason why in a second. Um, but just to go over a few of the things, first off, black case. This case has got so many lovely textures on it. The camera will focus, as you can see there. Nice polished black on the sides. We've got this nice matte brushed finish on the top. It just gives the watch so much depth. It, 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 it's very fun the way it kind of messes with the light and things like that. It is a superb kind of thing on the eyes. It just looks great. Um, and the black themes continue throughout to the bezel. As you can see here, we have the majority of it's black with a little bit of grey here just to kind of break it up a bit for your, your dive times. And then we obviously have a nice shot of orange in there for your minute hand, which just gives it a nice look. The other thing that's different between the other turtles in the series and this one is this has patinaed loom, as you can see here, which I absolutely love. It just kind of dulls it down a bit and kind of matches in with the whole dark theme. Only thing I don't like is the hands aren't loomed the same. They've basically just got the standard Seiko loom on, so they do shine a tad bit brighter with a different shade of green. Um, I will try and show you that in a second with my dark shot. I'll put that on now. So as you can see, it's it's ever so slight, but it's not bad. But anyway, back to this one. Um, but yeah, the watch actually wears quite small. And getting back onto the strap, I'll just put this down here and show you the strap when I'm when I'm on it. Um, the strap is phenomenal. It's a nice, very supple diver's rubber strap here. The only issue is it's like I say it's got black throughout this as well and I didn't want to put any scratches and marks on it. I want to keep this as clean as I can get it. These pick up dirt and marks like nobody's business. Comfy but they are a dirt magnet so I thought no I'm not gonna risk that one. I shall put it on a nice Italian rubber strap here with some stitching highlights in it which basically set off the watch very well. Some of the specs for this watch, it's a 4R36 movement, so we've got winding and hatting. It's basically the workhorse of the Seiko range at this moment. 
it's very nice and most of the watches I've got from Seiko do have it in and if they didn't they now do because I actually upgrade them to it because it is just such a great movement. Moving on to the back, uh, ooh, I haven't took the, uh, I keep forgetting this, with a save the moment, save the moment, uh, there we go, <laughs> I should stick that over there. Um, on the back of the case, ooh that made me feel good, um, as you can see limited edition, it's not stamped with a number for limited edition like the um, the grey versions of this, I forgot what you call it now, the 2018 um, Turtles and Samurais where it's basically got like 618 out of 2018. This just has limited edition. Now, for numbers on this watch, the Japanese version, so the J model, came with 300 units. Those sold out straight away in Japan. You can't really get those for anything. The K models, it's a bit more kind of ambiguous what the number is. I've been told three to 400 got shipped into the UK. Can't say how true that is, but for how thinner they are on the ground, I'm going to say that's a close bet to actually how many came in. This is one of them, and to be honest, I think this was one of the last ones to actually be still in a Seiko dealership and not being taken out and actually sold second hand. And they are selling for some stupid money on eBay. I've seen two in the last month, and I think they've gone for five, six hundred quid. Retail price on this, it was in the window for £420, but because I'm a charmer and the base of the shop loved me, they took 70 quid off and I got it for 350 quid, which in my mind is an absolute steal for this watch. Um, most jewellers that I go to will take you a 20% discount off the watch if you ask. You have to remember, shy bairns getting out, and that's the motto. If you don't ask, you won't get, and they will be more than willing to sell you it for full retail if you don't ask. However, they want to sell you it, and because this one actually sat in the window for a year, they wanted it off the hands, so they were more than happy to give me the discount. Now, like I say, the one worry about this watch was the way it was going to wear. Now, I'm going to take this one off here and actually show you how it fits on my wrist. Now, I don't have a particularly big wrist. I need to actually measure what size it is because I just kind of size them up blindly. But if you give us a second, I'll put it on and just show you the actual difference it is on my wrist. If you give us two seconds. So there it is on my wrist. As you can see, don't have a particularly big wrist. However, it does fit it absolutely gorgeously. The case is slightly curved on the underneath and it just, when you bend the wrist up and down, that little bit of curvature on the outside, just, it means you've got a bit more movement with your wrist and it's just very comfy. So with this strap on, you don't even realise you're wearing it half the time. It is that good. The only problem is with that, I am scared of knocking it because I forgot I've got it on, but you know, hey ho. Um, other features of this watch, you do get the generic Hard Lex Crystal on it, but to be honest, the majority of Seiko's do, unless you're going to the more expensive ones. No bugbear if you wanted to change it, you can, but um, yeah. Another bugbear, if we zoom in, da -da 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 -da, we have the dreaded Seiko misalignment of the chapter ring. Now, just to put this in context, and this is where it bugs me, the Sharky, which I reviewed in the last video, that watch is more than three times less the price of this. So you can get basically three of them with change and the chapter ring lines up perfectly. With this one, no, it, the, the, the sake or basically it didn't. Normally I would take it apart and adjust the chapter ring myself to straighten it up, which I've done with, I would dare say, 80% of my Seiko's, um, however because this is a limited edition and so rare I don't particularly want to open it up. Don't ask me why, I just don't. Um, like I say, you wouldn't even know I opened it because I, I do it as a very very big hobby of mine as modern watches and um, yeah, I, I'm quite good at it but I just feel like I don't want to open it up. But that's the only letdown it does stick out like a sore thumb. Especially to somebody that's got my kind of slight OCD engineering wise. But anyway, I can't kind of drag the whole watch down for that. It is a absolutely phenomenal watch and I am pleased I actually got my hands on it. And basically this this is my first taster of a turtle. And I can say I quite like it. And I'm now starting to look at the Nemo's, as they call them, you know, the blue and orange ones, and thinking, ooh, they look nice, but yet again, they're quite um, hard to get a hold of, especially in the UK, because I think they only came out in, like, Thailand or somewhere like that. But 
you know, that that's the way it is. I might come across one cheap one day and um, I'll get that one. But anyway, like I say, overall, great watch. Fits perfectly, even on the small wrist, and um, great addition to my little collection of watches that I've got at this moment in time. If you've got any comments on the watch, do you like the watch? Would you would you have this in a heartbeat? Is it really worth the price it's going for? I don't know. What's your opinion? But um, like I say, there'll be a lot more videos coming up. Like I say, a lot more of me modded watches, which are a bit more unique than the Seiko's. But you know, you need you need to kind of shake it up a bit. As always, like I say, keep safe, and I shall see you soon.